have to be quiet. Number two, Alexander Kojoy. Number three, Jason Groblin. Number four, Giovanni Solis. Number seven, Kevin Human. Number eight, Anthony Zavala. Number nine, Erickson Licardi. Number 10, Felipe yeah. de Oliveira. Number 13, William Martinez. What is that? Number 14, Raymond Fiera. And number 19, Julio Gullien. And now, the starting lineup for our Frontier Red Hawks. <laughs> oh my God. Be quiet. <laughs> Number six, Nwong Daytar. Number eight, Chanmin Song. Number nine, Brady Birch. Number 10, Devin Niles. Number 11, Matthew Seacard. Number 12, Jack Storm. Yeah. Number 15, Max Rajbali. Number 17, Kaizik Yak. Number 18, Chung Hee Song. And number 19, Aiden Valderrama. And number 19, David Gray. She messed it up. Ron <laughs> 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 Fernando. <laughs> Poor dude. Molly Smith. Molly Smith. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you know, it's the Frontier Red Ox uh, versus the Lynn Vocational uh, Technical Institute Tigers. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, and uh, it's going to be a great game. We're in the round of Sweet 16 for the uh, MIA Division Tournament, um, and I think Frontier they're the what five seed Mason. Yes, they're uh, the fifth seed, and I'm uh, I'm not quite sure what seed uh, the Tigers are. Well, we're we're gonna find out shortly. Yes, I uh, will find. Our that good out. friend Google <laughs> will tell us. So we just got the starting lineups for both teams, and. Both the Red Hawks and the Tigers out on the field in a pre-game huddle. Wow. The last game I did, Frontier, they... Um, uh, Rush Renaissance. I think it was like nine to zero. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think that was in the first round of the tournament, uh, or the Western Mass tournament. Yeah, probably Western Mass tournament. <laughs> so the first forty minutes of this game are going to start with a kick from the Tigers. It's going to be uh, Gregory uh, Missy. He's going to kick it back to uh, Kevin Newman, and now it's going to go back to kick long downfield and, you know, kind of a quick attack. Matt Seacard trying to get over to Chanman's son, and 
Now the Tigers take control of it there over the far sideline from us. And Chanman over to Matt, trying to kick it downfield. Goes to the Tigers, and right now it's kind of been the Tigers, Tigers' possession. Yeah, it's not usually what you see at the beginning of the game for Frontier. Yeah. The kick across the field, that was by uh, Anthony Zavala. And nice now the pass by Daytar. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be uh, uh, thrown here by the Tigers. It's going to be Julio Julio Gillen, I Gillen. think. Let's Gillen. go with Gillen. Yeah, we'll go with Gillen. And we are going to mispronounce all the names on the Tigers team. Yeah. Just a <laughs> warning in advance. <laughs> it's tough learning those those names on the fly. Yeah, it is. Especially now, especially without an introduction of each player, you know. Yeah, it's it's tough. <laughs> I mean. How many players do they have out on the field for a soccer game? Like, uh, I think it's a little uh, eleven for 11? each team. Maybe, yeah. Wait, let me count. Devin Niles tries to yeah, pass 11. it up to Fernando. It's in the co oh oh nice oh it's gonna be I think offside. <sighs> that was close. Rolled yeah. out at the last second, I think. Yeah, Fernando was able to steal that and be on sides. I think it would have been a goal because it was really a yeah there was. No defenders there. <laughs> yeah, they were waiting. It, they were waiting for it to go out of bounds. It's going to be Julio, uh, Gavin. <laughs> uh, kicks it over to uh, Giovanni Solis, and now will boot way downfield by one of the defensemen for uh, the, the Tigers. Frontier trying to take control. Matt Seacard kicks downfield and. Tigers end up with it at the halfway line. And good defense, good stop by Jack Storm for the Red Hawks. He's really been a dominant force for Frontier on defense. He's just is all over the place. Yeah, and I know I know he's got that track speed cuz Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a track star. Yeah, there's a couple there's quite a few uh track runners on the soccer team. They, Aiden Valderrama does track, right? Oh, yeah. There's Storm again. Now, um, <coughs> it's going to be Raymond Ferreira. Up now, kicked way downfield. That was uh, Anthony Zavala. Tigers kind of close to Frontier's box. They're really dominating in terms of possession. Yeah. And here goes the Red Hawks. Shinman Sun moving the ball well and kicks it to the back of the legs. Uh, and now the Hawks take control. It's, I think it's Fernando. Yep. Gets it to Brady. Back to Fernando now. Trying to go down the sideline and it just kicks out of bounds. So. Players asking for something to be called. I think they were moving too fast. There was a player down is what it looked like. Unless they are going to call a penalty. Uh, I think it's going to be a free kick. No, nope, no, throwing. <laughs> throwing. Ah. Tigers back in possession. They're going to boot it down the field, but C card's there to kick it out of bounds on the near side. Yeah, great clearance by him and yeah. I know he's a senior for the Hawks. And oh, it's going to go into the box. A shot. <sighs> oh, if 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 uh Felipe D Olivier uh Sounds kind right. of <laughs> <laughs> got uh got a better almost touch with that. He could have yeah. hit the back of the net. Sent it just over Owen Babb's head. That would have been an incredible goal, but yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a slide tackle. and I, I guess it's going to be Tiger's ball. I guess they called something against the Hawks. I mean, That would be on Fernando. Yeah, what about... Uh, 
So, yeah. I, I thought it was the tough side tackle. Maybe there's a yeah, shot in there. I mean, he might have, like, kind of pushed him because he did, like, trip over the defender's legs. That's what I saw, and I assumed it was a slide tackle. But. Well, n a nice kind of long ranger, and Noam Babb's going to have to come out of the box. Great job by him. He collects it and passes it out to Aiden Valderrama. Now Chan, Chan He with it. Could try to get it to Baldi and go out of bounds. <laughs> Valderrama does a little split. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was some good awareness by Owen Bad, keeping the ball moving fast. It's and it's going to be Julio uh, Gavin, or a, another one with the throw in. It was Jason Ro Robes. Robes. Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Fernando, he intercepts the pass and trying to go down the sideline. It's uh, going to go out of bounds and <laughs> he'll have to throw trip. in. He trips and falls it's right by the. Defender, but it seems like it was an accident. Yep. Defenders apologize, and that's always good. Yep, good, good sportsmanship is what what you want to see, especially in any sport. Oh yeah, especially um, in high school too. Yeah. Jack Storm doing a great job and beats uh, yeah one of the Tigers in a foot race. There he is again. He's just so fast down the sideline. He can outrun most defenders. That's what we've seen in recent games. He's really stepped up his level of play. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he was one of the four by one runners when I was a senior. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's right. You're right. I remember that. Speedy Gonzalez almost. <laughs> Tigers have it in the corner now. Now, uh, Chan. Chan He up yeah. the sideline. Nice pass. Trying to get it to uh, Devin Niles and the. Ooh. It's going to be William Martinez, the keeper for the, uh, the Tigers, collecting there. And now Tigers dribbling the ball well there was uh, Raymond Ferreira. Oof. Julio kicks it way downfield, and Jack Storm heads the ball. Sean, he trying to take control, and looks like it's going to be Kevin Newman. Nice slide tackle Oof. by Valderrama. That is a good whistle blown by the refs. It's yeah. good to see those calls happening. Cause in the last game, there was a lot of missed uh, calls on both sides, and it really aggravated both the Red Hawks and uh, I believe it was the Hornets in the last game. Oh, that's oh, that's gonna yeah, free kick in a dangerous position almost. And that is bad news for the Tigers. Yeah, and, and Dater, he was the one that kicked away downfield, tried to get it to Jack Storm and. Just a hard kind of shove, and yeah. Hawks could take a take a lead if they have a they have a good chance here. So, but yeah, if you get refs that can, I feel like in general refs that call more penalties are better than refs that don't call anything at all. Yeah, you know, you'd rather have people call stuff than not not at all because you know then injuries or people just get exactly. more aggressive and yeah. So Brady Birch, oh, it's going to be Devin Niles, kind of a trick play, and now will go through the goal posts, so above the goal. <laughs> and it will be uh, William Martinez, or no, it's going to be it's going to be a goalie kick, though. One of the defenders, is the defender going to take it? Uh, that does happen yes. every so often. I feel like it uh, mostly what the Red Hawks do, I know. Yeah. I'm not sure who's kicking it for the Tigers, but uh, Chan, he takes control. He's doing a good good footwork. Oh, it's going to be a free kick. I heard, you heard that one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> that was skin on skin t contact right there. Yeah. But Chan, he, was, he has a really great handle on the ball as he just showed us. And Daytar with the free kick there. Kicked it downfield and go out of bounds. Tigers bowl. Um... Chan Min over to Chan He, the brother connection almost. And they involve the Rama now. He's going to kick it downfield. Uh, trying to get to the sideline, and Tigers take, take control off Valderrama's oh. back. That would have been something Frontier could have made a play off of that. Yep. Daytar with a oh nice move. Oh, my goodness. Tigers end up with it. 
It's going to be uh, Kevin Newman. And now, going down the side of the is Hulu. Storm kicks it downfield for the Hawks. And a bit of a ping pong match right now. Devin Niles. It's going to go to uh, Tigers goalkeeper. Brady Birch, captain for the Red Hawks, as always, being very aggressive downfield. Yeah, definitely a ping pong match. It's back and forth oh, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a really good analogy. <laughs> Especially yeah. when you get, like, the thing going where it goes back and forth, goalie to goalie. Yeah. That's happened once or twice. I just noticed that... Uh, the Tigers, they don't have numbers on the front of the jersey, so that, it makes it a little more difficult for us. Yes, it does. Especially if they're on the far side of the field. Yeah. That's going to go to bounds. It's going to be a throw-in for the Tigers. Yep. And we Julio, got Julio. Yeah, he's going to throw it in. He. Oh. Oof. I was supposed to, my old kind of funny story today, I mean, I can, yeah. I had a dentist, I was supposed to go to the dentist today, and um, it turns out that it was my old dentist that scheduled me an appointment, so I drove all the way to Turner's Falls, and got there, and was like, they were like, oh, we don't have you scheduled, and I look at my, the text message, like, Greenfield scheduled me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice play by oh. Devin Niles there. Oh. Yeah, and a good defense by uh, Julio and he gets it off of Niles kick way down field David Gray takes control and now it's going to be uh, Kevin Newman kicking it trying to get it to the front of the box it's going to go to Matt Seacard go to bounce be a throw in for Tigers, Felipe de Olivier. Now kick into the box for the Tigers. Storm takes control, gets it over to Aiden Valderrama, who goes down the sideline. Nice kicks pass. Brady Burch, a chance here. Through ball, Brady Speedy. Oh! Oh my goodness. <laughs> you see the, the amount of space he. That was incredible. Oh, that was a great run, a great effort by Brady Burch. Like you said, he's one of the captains, so. Oh yeah. You love there, to see it. Yeah, there's a reason for that. <laughs> he just he was he took off like a jet engine there. Yeah, it was a long <laughs> pass downfield, and he just sent it like halfway from the from midfield to the goalie box, and he was just chasing after it. Yeah, that was. He was the goalkeeper was lucky. He got, he got to it before him. Yeah. It, it was Barely. Like, I mean, yeah. the ball ended up out of his hands, but. Nice move there by. Sean he. But yeah, I mean that's what you want to see, but it, for the Red Hawks, I mean one one more play like that and they could have a goal. Oh yeah. And we're just over halfway through of this forty minute first half. Twenty six minutes left. And of course still scoreless. Yeah, I think that this could be, I mean, if it keeps going like it's going right now, it'll be one or two goals that decide this. Oh, yeah. I think we, uh, tomorrow, or when this goes up, um, yeah, we'll be, tomorrow we we're covering uh, volleyball, so. Yeah, volleyball is happening here. Who are they? I have no idea. <laughs> are, they in, are they in the round of 16 now, or is it the round of 8? Uh... It might be round of eight. I think, yeah, I think it might be the round of eight tomorrow yeah. night. I mean, they, they did they win Western Mass? I think they did. Yes, they did win Western Mass. I remember I, I announced that game. So we had we had three uh, Western Mass champions this year, which yeah. is pretty, pretty impressive. It is really incredible. Yeah. Boys soccer, field hockey, and volleyball. Yeah. And uh, field hockey's playing tomorrow as well. Uh, they're playing away at Uxbridge, Ooh. who's the number one seed undefeated. Yeah. So that's going to be a really tough game for them. We'll have to wait and see how they do. But, of course, best of luck to them. Yes. 
And then in a couple of weeks after, you know, these playoffs round up, we'll have a week or two break. And Oh, we'll here's Brady Birch again. Ooh, goes to Devin Niles. I mean, it will go to uh, basketball. Yeah, looking uh, forward to that. I know, that's that's my favorite sport to cover. <laughs> so. Ooh, nice side tackle. Trying mm. he can't get to it in time. Aiden trying to get back to get to the ball, and Tigers on the offense now. On the, on the attack. Oh. Jack Storm doing a good job of keeping with it. Kick into the box. It's going to go yeah. kind of that w weird spin to it. And yeah. I mean, it was. they definitely were trying for a centering pass. Couldn't get it off, though. Went right through everyone. Yeah, and that was uh, Georgie uh, Amissi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And um, Matt Seacard, he'll kick away downfield for the Hawks. And ball now Jack Storm's feet. And now Valderrama gets it over to Niles. Nice touch there by Niles. Trying to get to Brady Birch. Brady Birch, header. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, if that, uh, if that defender was not there, it would have been a goal. That would have, oh my God, that was absolutely phenomenal. He, he, he headed it over the... Uh, the keeper, so. Well, now Frontier's putting the pressure on. It looks like that one went out of bounds. It's going to be a uh, Tigers throw in. That kills some much needed momentum for Frontier. But Yeah, but they, they seem to have flipped a switch all of a sudden. Yeah. I, that. See, again, that's what the captains are for. They can just get things started when the team yeah. really needs it. Here goes Niles. There's He's Birch again. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh my oh. goodness. Brady Birch. <laughs> Still with it. Oh my goodness. Oh. He needed some, somebody right there and to finish that. Great effort again by Brady Birch. Oh my goodness. What? A, we are not even halfway through this first half and he's having an absolutely phenomenal game, Tom. Yeah. He's, he's doing very well. He's fighting for that ball and trying to make things happen. And Frontier, they're going to have a corner here. Pretty sure it's yeah. Devin Niles taking it. Good kick. Oh, it's going to be a goal. It's headed in by one of the Tigers players. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. So that, that'll be awarded to Devin Niles. And the Hawks take a 1-0 lead in this round of Sweet 16. What an incredible play. That is the last thing that I would expect to happen, Tom. Yeah, I, I kind of, I just, I saw it go in. I was, I was like, dang. Because wow. that, that was an excellent corner by Niles. So. Yeah, perfectly set up. And it went straight to one of the Tigers players. I'm not sure who it was, but he was right on the goal line. And he tried to head it out, but it went, he hit the crossbar. And yeah. went right in. That that is unlucky. So oh I guess there's God. there was a timeout. They're gonna take a quick break. So we'll be watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Now, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith, and Malia. Malia, Malia Smith. Malia Smith. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. Yes. Uh, I will get it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> tough remembering all the all the names. And you know, front, after that goal, we. Uh, Mason found out that uh, Lynn is the uh, Lynn Vogue, the 12th seed. So the five seed yeah. versus the 12th seed, and one nothing for the, the Red Ox. So and we have just about, you know, we're halfway through the first half. So yeah, 21 minutes left to go. Oh, and it looks like a Valderrama subbed out. Nico Fasulo is in for him. You can see him number five. Free kick for the Hawks. Oh, and nice kick by Matt Seacard. And for Nan, nope, but Shan Min's going to end up with it. And he's, ooh, nice. Swarmed. Yeah, nice, nice steal by uh, Gregory and Missy. Missy mm. makes a nice move. Good oh. pass there. Jack Storm breaks it up for the Red Hawks. Ooh. That's an interesting call. I mean, yeah. uh, 
I mean, I, there was definitely body movement. So yeah, I, don't I mean, know. personally, I disagree with that. They were both struggling to get the ball and moving around, and yeah, he kind of, kind of, yeah. I mean, like he had his hand on him, but it didn't seem like a push or anything. But yeah, a nice, nice kick into the box. That it's gonna be oh a goal. Oh my goodness! So it's gonna be assisted by uh, Kevin Human. He's gonna kick it in there, and it'll be a Missy with the goal. So. You can't even be upset about that, Tom. That was an incredible play. Yeah. So both teams have scored a goal, and they've both been off of set kicks. This goal here for the Tigers was off of a free kick, of course, and then Frontier's goal was off of a corner kick. And yeah, that's going to make it one-to-one, -one, Mason. So, I mean, this is the kind of game you do want to see. Yeah. I mean, it could go both ways, and just like that, I mean – one one mistake almost you could say and they they tie it back up and Devin, oh. oh my goodness yeah, that's yeah you got to call a penalty for that i wonder if he'll uh he'll give him a card yeah i mean he's walking towards him so <laughs> yeah he's maybe just give him a little Oh, no, he's telling him where to put the ball. Oh. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I I thought he was going to card Frontiers players, but it yeah. looks like it's going to be an interesting free kick spot. Yeah, this is very strange. I haven't seen something like this. In no, a, neither have I. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think it's Fernando taking it. He's going to kick it. Kicks it into the ball. Oh, oh. A header off of. Uh, that was Daytar, I think. <laughs> Daytar was. Pointed to the top of his head. So. <laughs> he's got his hair tied up. That's what he's <laughs> pointing at. Well, now, yeah. Go as as announcers, Tom, this is the kind of game that you like to see. A close game with some really great players, really great teams. It's just really fun to announce. Yeah, you definitely like when I was doing the nine to zero game. It's, I mean, sure, it's, it's cool because a lot of, they get a lot of goals, but yeah. It's not fun for the you know to watch almost. Yeah, it's it's not a good story. You gotta you gotta pitch a story to the audience. You yeah, know? <laughs> nine nothing. That's not, especially in soccer. That's oh not. yeah, jeez, like you know you get nine nothing in like I don't know football. Yeah, you get a football game that's nine nothing. That that's exciting because you got a safety in there. Yeah. Are. <laughs> I mean, like it's a low score. You're gonna get something interesting going on. Yeah. Or it's, uh, or a touchdown, miss extra point, and a field goal. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but um, I think this will be really a battle uh, battle of who has the better defense. I think that that's a very true statement, Tom. And Fernando, he's going to get oh. into Brady Birch. Brady Birch moving down. and No way they're going to – they can't blow a whistle on that. He didn't even blow his whistle. Yeah, it looked <laughs> like he was running down to do something. I was all of the Lynn players are looking for it. That was oh. a, that was just a little shove. I mean, like it, he didn't fall down or anything. Yeah, it's gonna be a frontier corner kick and Nevin Niles who, you know, kinda scored that first goal. Frontier with a chance and cleared but oh oh that's that's Yeah, the, that's yeah. where you get a whistle. That was a that was a good call. That that's uh, I don't like to see that. That that was a little yeah. like, too aggressive, but I think that at least for some of Frontier players right now, they got the lead, and they're not used to seeing that the other team score that quickly and come yeah. back into the game. Yeah, and here comes the Tigers again, and good job by uh, I think it was Chanman. Yeah. Who got it out there? So, uh, thrown by Julio Gonovan. Right now, the um, Tigers are doing a good job of moving the ball. <laughs> Daytar's gonna take that <laughs> one off the back. Block. That was more like a hockey play. You just <laughs> dive right in front of the puck. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, Pab's just gonna. <laughs> take that one like a wide receiver. <laughs> Football. He could probably he could probably be a wide receiver. Yeah, I mean he caught that one pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Just different ball shape, honestly. <laughs> Sounds awful. <laughs> uh. 
Frontier with the on the attack. Niles gets it over to uh, Chan. Chan He, yeah. yeah Chan He. Fasulo. It's gonna go out of uh, bounds. So 15:41 left to go. Standard side up one one now, Mason. So nice throwing. Oh. oh. You almost need, you almost need one more attacker there up there. Yeah. But again, you know, you want to case you know the Tigers take control like they just did. You want yeah. you want your players back. Matt Seacard with good clearance there gets it over to Nico and oh, good job by Nico. <laughs> he takes it. My goodness. Yeah. That was a great. Yeah, that's going to be Frontier's ball. That was a good call. And John He with the throw in for Frontier. Gets it to Niles. Niles. Oh. Why don't you call something? Uh, yeah, on that? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now this is really time. This is becoming a very physical game. It wasn't at first, and we were <laughs> applauding the refs, but this is yeah. this is taking quite a turn in more ways than one. Yeah, I mean. Well, I don't like it when it gets that physical because you don't no. want to see anybody uh, getting injured. So, No, of course not. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with a little physicality in soccer, but, like, it gets to a point where, you know, every time that two players from uh, opposite teams meet the ball, they're just, like, you know, bodying each other. And it's just yeah. it gets to be too much. Oh, it's going to go just out of bounds, and it's going to be a throw in for Julio. Subs come in for the Tigers. It's going to be Alan DeLeon and uh, Minor Angel. T taking the taking the seat, it's Jason Ro Robes. And uh, see in a second when he sits down. I didn't see who else came off. Well, it's, it's going to be uh, Felipe D'Oliveria that comes off the field for the Tigers. Nice footwork by Chan He to keep the ball as he got knocked down. Ooh. Chan He with it again. He sticks <laughs> he with it. He gets the ball back. Plays the ball and oh. yeah, I don't think you would the uh, Niles would be on side if you went for that one, so. Yeah. Uh William Martinez is going to kick it downfield. Uh, goalkeeper for Tigers. Niles trying to get to the ball, and defenseman for the Tigers kicks it downfield. And now Detar is going to have it for the Red Hawks. He's going to try to get it up to Niles. Niles. Nice move. He, he has a man open. <laughs> He's got Nico. <laughs> He's going to get it to Nico. On the near side. Nico. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, if I almost would I, you oh, know, if he had a chance to get it over to Brady Birch, because Brady was moving down that sideline too. Oh yeah. So, one more pass almost, and I I think it would have been a goal. But also, I don't really know the offsides rule too well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's gonna be a yeah. free kick. That's a good call. Twelve ten left in the half. Game's tied one to one. You know, it feels so much more dangerous when it's one to one as opposed to zero to zero. <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that was, I mean, it's oh, it's almost like it's the same game. Yeah, it is. But it just there's there's something different about it. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you, you get the goose egg off the board is what you what you do. <laughs> yeah. I I just liked how uh, I mean, oh I know a miss kick and. Owen Babb's going to have to dive on that one. <laughs> nice play there. Owen Babb is a very aggressive goalie. I've seen him run out right at players and dive on the ball like a millisecond before their leg swings forward. Yeah, I, I, the one thing I wouldn't enjoy is getting clobbered in the face by oh, a foot. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, as a goalie, you really need to be fearless in soccer. Yeah. The ball's getting shot at you, and God knows how fast. And like, <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when I played in elementary school, I... Uh, I played every position. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what they did. They, they they rotated it, you know. Like, um, <laughs> I mean, I, some teams would have like really good goalkeepers, but I was mainly someone who could like run around the whole field and then 
hopefully get a goal. I, I scored a couple goals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go, man. And then, yeah. and then I picked fall baseball over uh, soccer, so <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, so Hawks are trying to get through the – it's almost a swarm of Tigers there, you know. Yeah. They got to get it over to the other side of the field. You definitely not want to run there into a swarm of Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> I would not. Mm. Would you rather run into a swarm of Red Hawks or <laughs> Tigers, Mason? Probably Red Hawks. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, because it feels like the, you don't really see a swarm of Red Hawks. I feel like I'd believe a swarm of Tigers more than a swarm of Red Hawks, yeah, but you know? <laughs> just imagine a bunch of Hawks landing on your attack. Oh, jeez. That would... Both would not be tiger. very enjoyable. At least with a tiger, it'd be it would be over quick. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, because with the birds, they just like peck out your eyes and yeah. then leave you to bleed out. Oh, jeez, we're we're getting a little too graphic here. Never mind. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Nice move there. That was uh, Arlen Del the lion. They got a lion on their team, I guess. <laughs> Probably not pronouncing that right, but. Allen's going to go to Frontier's keeper, Owen Babb. Just under uh, 9.30 left to play, so reaching the final couple minutes of uh, this first first half. Yeah. Well, something that's not too good of a look for Frontier. We've got Nico Fasulo on the near side of the field here. He's playing more defense than he has offense, and he's supposed to be a forward, which, you know, doesn't speak too well to Frontier right now, but... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I kind of noticed that they, uh, it's really, they're playing one person up front. Um, and yeah. then you have you have to really run. With the, oh. He, uh, to that, me, he almost mm. looked like he just fell. No, yeah, I mean. he, like, he, it looked like he kind of rolled over the ball was what that looked like. Uh, it, it is what it is, but yeah, it's yeah. going to be a f another chance, an opportunity for the Tigers. It's going to be uh, Kevin Human, who assisted the last goal for uh, to G uh, no, it was a Missy. Yeah, now, that one's just going to go wide out. So <laughs> a couple of teammates upset there. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely a oh, miss kick. So. Here's a sub coming in. Felipe De Oliveira comes in and. Uh, that can't see their number. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll see when he when he, when he crosses the midfield line. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll then we'll know. It's gonna be a goalie kick for Owen Babb. He's gonna kick it downfield. Header by the Tigers and good job by Matt Seacard. Now, nice uh, move by Niles. Gets it up to Birch. No, it's gonna get intercepted. That was a yeah. It's it, it's kind of hard for the. For both teams, honestly, if you have one person up front, you gotta, you got to be yeah. four defenders. So, unless somebody's uh, off their mark. It was uh, Raymond Ferreira that, that came off there for the, a little while ago. John, he gets it up Tigers. to Niles. Niles has Fasulo on the near side. Is he going to see him? Yep. He does. Fasulo's going to get to it before it goes out of bounds. Uh, Dang. Yep, so... We'll send it out of bounds. It'll be a goalie kick, and Valderrama's going to come back on the field. And he's going to be coming on for Fernando. Yeah. So goalie kick for the Tigers. Yep. 6.55 left to go. Nice kick downfield. Chanmin. Right now a Missy. Nice pass up there. Yeah. Nico's gonna have it at the sideline. Gets it over to Chan He. Chan He's in a kind of trying to dribble and it will go out of bounds off of uh Felipe de Oliveria. Chan He seems to be one of the few people on Frontier that can get through a swarm of tigers. He just has some <laughs> incredible footwork tonight that I don't think that I've seen from him in previous games. Yeah. It's really special. It's quite something to watch. And uh looked like their uh, Michael Nolasco came on for 
Uh, Erickson Licardi for the Tigers. Uh, nice move by Amissi to get around Fasulo. Good clear by Jack Storm right under the feet of that was Alan DeLeon. Yeah, Niles, he's trying to get it over to Valderrama. And then he's looking for a penalty there, a push. He's not going to get it, though. Nope, and it will be a throw in here by Anthony Zavala for the Tigers. Brady Birch with the steal. And mm, good clear by the Tigers' defense. It's going to be a throw in for Frontier. Valderrama with the throw and gets it to Niles. Niles with a back pass oh to Birch. Oh, my goodness. Birch, he's going to try to figure out what to do with it. Gets it over to Chan, uh, Chan Min and cleared by the Tigers. So Frontier definitely in these last couple of minutes trying to be aggressive. Oh, yeah. That's been a trend that I've noticed in the past few games. Even if they're ahead in the game, in the last few minutes of the first half, they really try and kick it in before they get to rest for a few. Yeah. So it's going to be another goalie kick uh, for the Tigers. And just about four and a half minutes left to go in this first half. Um, I miss you fighting uh, Chan Min for the ball there, and he wins it. So Tigers is going to try to look to be on offense. I mean, it's kind of in the, the midfield right now, and yeah. aren't you doing a good job of cutting off those uh, passing wounds? And Tigers are trying to set something up. They're moving down the sideline well. Good job by David Gray. Gets it over to Valderrama. Brady now, Birch in the middle. Yep. No, oh. they're not going to get it to him. Brady all the way back now, and Jack Storm gets it out there. Valderrama trying to see it to Niles. And oh, what a pass. <laughs> we'll go to bounds. Frontier throwing. The ref's going to call something. I saw what happened there. That was a, who is that? That's number eight, Anthony Zavala. So what oh. happened was Zavala uh, pushed Niles pretty severely, and Niles flew a couple feet backwards and Valderrama didn't like that too much so he came up behind Zavala and gave him a little shove which the ref saw so uh, they're giving Valderrama a talk yeah and he's not happy about that and now the ref's talking to the other player too yeah there you go so <laughs> everything got sorted out more or less that's good uh, yeah I mean Nico throws it into Niles now back to, back to Nico and another <laughs> another throw and basically at the same spot <laughs> yeah now he's going to see it to Brady Birch and another frontier throw on. Nico's going to have it again, so. Nico is looking for somebody. Not too much movement happening for Frontier. Brady Birch going to kick it in. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. I thought that went in. No. <laughs> yeah, it rolled, it rolled around the, the back of the net, but uh, <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> so we're closing in uh, to two and a half minutes. At two minutes, the clock will stop and it will be held on the field Yep. by the referees. So a goalie kick for the Tigers. I mean... The thing I liked was that the Tigers, I mean, as soon as Frontier scored a goal, they they were like, all right, guys, you, you know, we, we yeah. can't. We, we got to go out there and be just as aggressive as they were. And they came back and had one opportunity to score, and they did. So Nice header by Valderrama. I I think that's that's what you want to see in this type of game. And Oh, yeah. And hopefully, you know, you if Frontier gets in that opportunity, you see that from them, you know, because – that's if they're going to want to be able to compete with this team. That's what they, you know, that's what we need to see. Yeah. Detar's going to have it. He's going to kick it downfield. Gets it to uh, Devin Niles. Niles, he's got a defender to 
But he plays it to Brady Birch. Brady Birch speeding down the field again. He bodies Birch him out. gets it. Keeps it in bounds. Kicks it. Oh, oh my a goodness. Missed kick from Niles, and that one's going to be called. And no, that was a good call. It wasn't yeah. intentional or anything, but looked like a pretty harsh kick right to the shin. Tried to get it, of course. You know, he wasn't aiming for his shin. But. Yeah, he, he he was aiming for the ball, and he, oh, if he connected, I, I think it would have been a goal there. Yeah, great defensive play there by the Tigers. Missy with it for the Tigers. He's moving the ball well. Oh, kind of powered through one of Frontiers players. Yeah, Jack Storm gets flattened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to have stiff arms in soccer, but it looks that's, like the, the, that's the half. Yeah, the ref's yeah. going to call it on that. I mean, kind of felt like not really enough time, but that'll, yeah. that'll do it halftime. And so after after the first half, it's one-to-one one in the uh, Division Four Sweet 16 tournament. Uh, we'll be back at, after halftime. You're watching Frontier Community Access Delta. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, Tom Howard, Mason Smith, and Amalia. Amaya, Amaya. I gotta yes. write it down so I won't forget. <laughs> there you go. That's how that's how Tom remembers everything. Yes. He's pre-recorded all of this. He oh, wrote it down in his notebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just I, it's Siri tells me. <laughs> All right. Um, so Brady Birch, oh, he's already being aggressive. And <laughs> I mean, Brady Birch is just typically an aggressive player, but in in a game like this, it's going to stand out more, you know, yeah. when everyone – the refs are starting to get fed up. and uh, uh, Yeah, I mean, you get in that – they got two sideline refs and a guy that just runs across them kind of the middle of yeah. the field. So, I mean, it's hard for them with three to miss something. Yeah, that's very true. So – and one thing I'm noticing right now is that the Tigers are more spread out on offense than than the Hawks are on defense right now. Yeah, I mean, that's like, really true. I mean, they've got number eight. Who's that? I don't remember the name. Anthony Zavala. He's all the way over here. Like, if the if Tigers need a pass back, they've got someone right there. And great job by uh, Erickson Licardi. And here he is again. Intercepted Chinese pass. David Gray tries to kick it, clear it, but it goes straight to a Tigers player. Now Tigers trying to take advantage. And Jack Storm. Jack <laughs> flew in out of nowhere. Yeah. Looks like he got launched out of a cannon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got the leg flail and everything. Yeah. Valderrama's going to have the kick. Good kick by Aiden. Oh, right over the head of Birch. Now it's ponged back. <laughs> Jack Storm with the header over to Chan He. And Chani looks looks He's to be down. down. Yeah, that's that's not Called good. Called the play dead. The ref's right there. And now now he calls it dead. So. Yeah, he he looks it looks like it's a calf cramp. Yeah, they're stretching it out. He might be out for a few minutes though. Yeah, that, I think uh, one of the things is if a player, if the ref calls his time, then uh, here comes the trainer. But um, yeah, if the ref calls his time, then the player has, uh, I think, has to come out. But I could yeah, be I mean, also it's probably just in the best interest of the team. Um, he, lo he looks to be on his feet now. So yeah, but I mean, this happened a lot in uh, uh, for the football team, especially as. Uh, it was at the beginning of the season on some of the colder nights. Yeah. They got we got so many calf cramps. It was ridiculous. We had like players coming out for like two or three plays, stretching out, and then going right back on. It was. I mean, when you have the night games, you know, you got to dress warmer for it. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of the football players don't though. <laughs> yeah, I, you got to wear um, like what I did for track was wear uh, spandex. Underneath. Yeah, and cross country. I mean, I also 
Yeah, and you didn't you like how short. <laughs> the, the yeah. Bus. Oh god, those those are terrible. Yeah. And I mean, you gotta love the sweats that they give you though. Those things are great. Yes, you get you get like wind pants, wind shirt. I only like, got those one year. They uh, haven't given to. They haven't given those us since. Yeah. Oh, nice move by Fasulo. Yeah. Nico now now Fernando's gonna have it. He's gonna try to go down the sideline and little stutter step. Go out of bounds. It will be a frontier throne. Oh, and here's Chan Yi coming back in. Yep. So, so uh, looks like uh, so like Nico's gonna come back out. Yeah. Well, that's good to see him coming back on. Yep. Glad it wasn't really bad. Fernando injury. gonna kick it in. Chan Yi with it. Takes a shot from <laughs> deep. Through the goalpost <laughs> again. <laughs> Yeah, has been getting more field goals than actual goals. Yeah, nine, <laughs> nine to nothing right now. I think it is. Yep. So. <laughs> and the goal post wise, <sighs> goalie kick. Way downfield, Chan He takes control, get, kicks it over to Valderrama. It's now up in the air and pass back from one of the Tigers to the defenseman, and now Chan He intercepts a pass. Chan Min over to Valderrama. And Aiden's going to try to long range. Header. Oh, my, oh my goodness. goodness. Brady Burch. Brady. Holy oh. moly. What a goal. What a pass from Aiden Valderrama. That is a professional league play right yeah. there. Oh, my God. You, that is what you would love to see as oh. Valderrama had an astounding pass, which it almost looked like it was going to go in, and Brady Burch had an amazing header. So... There was nothing, there was absolutely nothing that the goalie could have done about that. William Martinez just at a loss here. It was a huge deep pass, and that was absolutely phenomenal. With that goal, Frontier <laughs> back on top, Mason. <laughs> Two to one. So I wonder if, yeah, Tigers are, are going to try to Put answer. the pressure on yeah. immediately. Yeah. And oh, oh my god! Woo. What a lucky break for Frontier. Oh my god. Sent back down the field to Devin Niles. Niles tries to center and it's going to get intercepted by the Tigers. Oh. Just like that, I mean, the Tigers off. Oh, oh, oh my god. Can you imagine if <laughs> yeah. they scored that quickly? It's it's they, they, it's scary how they can do that. It just makes you wonder, like, could they just scare, could they <laughs> score a goal right now if they really wanted to? Do they just yeah. not want to score right now? <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, like, that was that was crazy. If, if a little more to the right and that was in, I mean, it hit off the right goal post and oh my oh. god! I mean, they they were able to answer that first time and just a chance. And here here comes a Missy. Has to beat Matt Seacard. Seacard. He's trying Team to clear it and it. goes out of bounds. Nice defense by Seacard. And it's off on a Missy, so it's going to be a frontier throw in. That's a great, <laughs> it's a really good break for them. Yeah. Gray inbounds it to Seacard. Over to Gray now again. He's going to kick it over to Fernando. Fernando trying to go down the sideline, and it's going to be a foul called. And some shoving going on. <laughs> yeah, as always. <laughs> it's going to be Kevin Human, who had the, uh, the the first assist off of a free kick. So, You know, I think that if on the play where the Tigers had the shot off the post, if it had been a Missy taking the shot, that would have been in. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I mean, the one thing with the uh, Missy is he's very tall. He, I think he's yeah, one of the he tallest is. out there. So, couple of headers, and it's going to end up in, at with David Gray. And yeah, the Tigers, Tigers on, on the, the back. yeah they they're on the attack right now. Nice move, wow, by Kevin Newman. It gets cleared out by Jack Storm. Yeah. That's what he does best. <laughs> <laughs> Valderrama kicks it way downfield and. Definitely a send right back. Datar, he's trying to get it out of there. Gets it to Chan He, who makes a nice move. And Ooh, Brady Birch <laughs> <laughs> yeah. slips and falls. Probably hit a divot out there. And yeah. 
Well, see, yeah. That was happening a lot last game because it was raining and the, everyone was sliding everywhere. Oh, was, yeah. That I, I well, the thing I hate about cross country was running in the uh, like when it was puddles. Yeah, know? running in the I don't mind running in the rain, but I, if it was like that, you're like you're running through like a puddle and it yeah. was like no, you got to stay on the course and it was like a five like the track was like. Like, the course was, like, five feet wide, and the puddle was, like, yeah. ten. Yeah. You're just like, well, what am I going to do? You just go straight through. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw a video online once. Kind of getting off topic, but it's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is uh, a, a kid completely just Superman dove into the puddle. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that's with soccer. I mean, I bet you, you see, and, oh, 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 Bab had to come out there. Is When it's when it, the field's not in great condition, you, you, it's very dangerous for the players. Yeah. You can slip and slide around, so. Yeah, it really is. Especially if the p some of the players are wearing, like, metal cleats. Oh, yeah. That can be just, you know. Any any sport with bad weather, like, it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> Unless, I, I I mean, for me, I loved running in the rain, so. Yeah. A nice little drizzle. It keeps you cool, keeps you hydrated, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> just run with your mouth open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and David Gray, great clearance <laughs> by him as – Tigers really want that goal back. Yeah. But, I mean, we've got pretty good weather tonight. It's a, not raining or anything. It's it's a little chilly. We've got 57 degrees right now in South Deerfield. But good conditions. Yeah, it's definitely cold. But Missy kicks it into the box. Owen back going to come out with the, to the and collect the bouncing ball. Great so. play by Missy, though. you got to give him credit where credit's due. He is a phenomenal player. And that I don't I'm not sure who kicked that one, but that was way in the Owen air. Owen Bab just <laughs> sends it. <laughs> I think it was probably a drop kick. Yeah. Matt C card. Over to Fernando Matt back to C card and back to Fernando now. Nice Fernando. move. Oh. Uh -huh. If he got a through pass to Brady Birch, Brady Birch was gone. He's There's gonna a throw in. Uh except on the line or No, I wrong ball or something. <laughs> oh, they wanted him to move back more. That's what it was. That, I mean, he kind of took away the opportunity, so. Yeah. That's a shame. 30, 50 left to go. So he played about 10 minutes or so in this uh, first, second half, second half. And Frontier, you know, they scored that absolute belter <laughs> <laughs> by Brady. Aiden Valderrama assisted Brady Burt. Still so. processing that. I was yeah. just. <laughs> Tigers still trying to look for an answer as they're they have a chance here and I'll just go to Owen Bab. It was kind of a miss kick by uh, Felipe for the Tigers. I mean it good defense, we'll say. Yeah. Owen Bab, another long ranger. I wanna go all after uh, <laughs> someone's head and go to the goof. The goalie, goalie the goalie. Yeah. Martinez. And now Tigers are slowing it down a little bit. They're going to yeah. spread out. Recuperate. Matt Seacard with the header. And again, <laughs> it goes uh, to the Tigers. Devin Niles, he has. Oh, that's going to oh, be. Oh, my yeah. goodness. That was just cheap. Yeah. Come on. Here comes the ref. He, yeah. I. The one thing I, I don't uh, understand, uh, you know, with th at this point, you almost want to got to call something. Yeah, you know? I mean, like, you know, this has happened, like, so many times already. And it's like, I mean, see, I've seen penalties in soccer games where it's like they, like, players grab the ball who aren't the goalie. They grab the ball when, it like, the shot's going to go in, and, like, toward in the last few minutes and force a penalty kick. And, like, I can understand that. But, like, you don't even know if he's going to make it all the way to the goal, and you just push him. Like, yeah, that, you know. that was, and that was on purpose, too. So Yeah, that's just I – don't, I don't really see the logic in that. You're only down by one goal. You've got half an hour to play. Yeah. It's not like it's in the last few minutes and, and you need to come up with Yeah, something. and the thing with the free kick – I mean, you totally stopped the offense, so... Yeah. I, I mean, the offensive movement, except for the fact that you, you set up a free kick opportunity, which Frontier had the, had the chance, another chance to score, so... Yeah, that's how the first two games... That's how the first two goals of this game were scored. Birch gets by a defender, yeah. gets by two. Here he comes, and... Centering still, pass blocked. Still sticking oh with Oh, my it. God. I don't... 
yeah, you, somebody took him out again. So yeah. I miss you doing a great job going down the line. Owen Babb's going to come out. He will collect for the Red Hawks. So. Throw it to the other side of the field. Fernand Fernando's there. Fernando. And it will be uh, Erickson Licardi kicking it downfield. Chan He. He's going to have it now. Went off of a Tigers player. Aiden Valderrama over to Chani. Chani trying to get through one of the midfielders and Jen Min now. Up to Birch. Yeah, and here comes the Hawks again. And ooh, good clear by Alexander and Pojoy. I will say this time, both teams have some stellar defenses. Yeah. Some really solid players back there. That, that's what you want to see too. Oh, yeah. I think that a strong defense more than anything is what can bring a soccer team far into the playoffs. Because you can, you can have just one or two people who are really good on offense, and they can score goals, but they can't have the opportunities that oh. they need. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Brady Birch, a miss at pass. Oh, and Gets that, knocked down. Nah, I don't know how anything – I think he may give him a penalty. He's, he's yeah. getting a penalty kick, folks. Oh, my goodness. That, this is big, and I, I think – Honestly, if I were you, you, or if I was Frontage coach, I would let uh, Brady Birch take it. I mean, oh yeah, no, he definitely. Forced, he forced that penalty, and I think if you know he wasn't tackled there, you would have had another goal. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, he made a nice move around the goalie. There was no one in the goal, and the defender just pushed him. That would have been three not three to one Frontier, and it very well might be here. Now they're going to give it to Chan He as. No doubt they have a reason for that. But. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like uh, trying to sub in his minor angel for the Tigers. So he'll sub in shortly, and we have about 26 minutes left to go in this in this game. In front here, they, right now they could take a 3-1 to one lead. So This is pretty big. Yeah, a lot of no pressure from Johnny, you know. <laughs> Johnny's one on one. Yep, him versus the keeper. Here we go. <laughs> Johnny will take it. And it's a goal! Three to one <laughs> frontier. <laughs> Johnny. Big job by Johnny. Takes advantage of that. Fools the keeper. And he'll have a goal. So, <laughs> three to one Red Ox. <laughs> What a phenomenal game we're having here. Yeah, this is what you love to see, too. I mean, oh my goodness. if Frontier can keep this lead, they can move on to the lead eight, Mason. So, No, but you got to be thinking about this, Todd. You, you see a Missy looking around yeah, he's center field. He He's going to try and make something happen. Yeah, this is what the Tigers want to do. I mean, just like they have twice, I mean, they want a chance to score and Get that goal back. And maybe this time Frontier's not going to be so lucky to have the ball hit the post. And Fernando, yeah. I mean, at that, that, that time it was, I mean, a couple couple inches away from scoring, you know. Yeah, I mean, even if it had hit the post just like, like you said, a few inches to either side, it could have bounced differently, gone into the goal, yeah. hit off some. You, you hit just, it to a little to the right side and it may, may have gone in or you never, you never know. I mean. The chance here will go wide left off of one of Tiger's players. So tw 25 minutes left to go. No, it, it's going to be a Tiger's corner kick. Oh, so it was off of one of Frontier's players. It, yeah. Not sure who's taking it. This is not <laughs> what you want to see right after you score on a penalty kick. Ooh, great oh, great job. Yeah. Great there you go. Great job by Owen Babb. That's why you love... The fact that Owen Babb is 6'3". <laughs> <laughs> me, me and him should go back to back because he was taller. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know he's taller than me. He's probably taller. Quite a bit, than, yeah. I mean, it depends if he's 6'3 and a half. If he's 6'3 and a half, he's definitely taller. Yeah. Good penalty called there. I mean, but yeah, he's one of the few people that I'm like, you know, talking to him in the classroom. I'm, you know, looking up at him. <laughs> <laughs> Think about this, Mason, right? I go to the 4th of July with my cousins. I yeah. have a cousin who's 6'10". 
Oh my! <laughs> like I don't understand how some people can just like be that tall. And, it's incredible. And he's uh, <laughs> his um, he's a twin brother, and he's only five eleven. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Frontier with a chance. Oh, oh Fernando! Brilliant. Somebody take a shot! Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. A missed kick. The shot goes wide. Oh. I think that was that was Chan Min. Oh, oh no! That was oh a, no! It, it looks like. The goalie. William Martinez yeah. down on the ground. Yep. Looks to be in this. So there. Oh, he needs backup. He, he was rolling around. It looks like he was trying to sell something almost if he got up that quick. I mean, that that's one thing I've seen, you know, <laughs> memes and stuff is with that. Yeah, soccer players rolling around, like, after getting, like, tapped or something yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, that was. That was. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. That was no theater act right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he, there you go. He gets a card. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. So, uh, I think look, look at Fernando. He's taking a little <laughs> break over there. Yeah. He, the man needs his rest. <laughs> <laughs> He's stay, taking a seat. But yeah, yeah, I mean, finally the ref calls something, and it, he'll be he'll be sent off. Um. At last. Oh no, that's why he was taking a rest. He's limping. Oh. Nico Fasulo's coming in for him. <laughs> I feel bad we're making fun of an injured man. <laughs> you, yeah, that was, that was not me, bro. Yeah, yeah. you, can beat, you can beat Mason up, you know, all right? You yeah, know. all right. I, I'll wait for him in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Daytar kicks it in. It's kind of a trick play. Nico trying to keep it in bounds. She does. Oh, oh no. Oh, What a great effort there. That, yeah. was a, that was a nice play. Yeah. He, 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 oh. <laughs> not telling him to back up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely chilly here, Mason. Oh, I, I, yeah. I, I will never say I regret wearing shorts, though, so I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm comfortable. Chani takes a wide shot. And oh, oh, my God. Oh Chani my with God. his second of the night. <laughs> Chani, son, two goals in the round of 16. It's 4-1, to one, Red Hawks. Yeah. Deep shot, and there you go. Oh, my God. God. Long Ranger, Mason. Long Ranger by Chani. You let that one rip, and oh, Tigers need to get some, get on the board quick. And I was. This is not how I thought this game was gonna go, Tom. I thought we were gonna end this game with a one goal difference, but Frontier is up by three. Holy yeah. cow! Deep shot, Long Ranger by Chani, and that's gonna make it four to one with with 22:37 left to go. In this se second half, so, and this is what you like to see, Mason. I mean, yeah. If Frontier just keeps us up, they have good defense. They'll they'll certainly be moving on. Oh to yeah, the lead eight. And this is why you love the playoffs, Tom. This is one of the best soccer games I have seen in yeah. a long time. I mean, it, it, they keep Frontier keeping keeping it exciting, you know. Oh yeah. Jack Storm just good job clearing it, kicks it out of bounds. Yep. And we got. About a about a quarter left in this game. Long Ranger Owen Bab just <laughs> grabs that one out of the air again. Nico, like he's gonna no business. dribble it down the sideline and go out of bounds. Frontier throwing. Or no. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for the refs call there, I suppose. David Gray's gonna have have the throwing and what I would do if I was him, I would throw it to Chan He. I mean he's open over there, the right? Chan He He's not. Not only is he open, he has had a, a phenomenal yeah. game. I mean, he's, uh, he's been able to get through uh, the Tigers' oh. defense. <laughs> Went the other way there. That, that, that was funny. That <laughs> just turned around. And looks like some kind of like video game character just <laughs> hit it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, here are the here come the Tigers. Jack Storm racing back and cross goes wide, long, and there'll be a Frontier. Goalie kick. Yeah. So. But, yeah, I mean, like, if I was Frontier, give it back to Chan He again. He's been able to get it through the yeah. Tigers' defense with his incredible footwork. He's gotten two goals in the night. Yeah. he. <laughs> I mean, it, it was also another player, you know, I'd, I'd almost, as they call it, the man of the match. He, he, oh, and now it's getting physical. Oh, that's and that's, that's gonna yeah. warrant a card right there. That should warrant a card. I mean, yeah, the I, crowd's I, asking for yeah, it I, too. I I I don't like that. I don't like to see that, Mason. Yeah, 
I don't think anyone likes to see that. I mean, you're down 4-1. You, you can't be doing stuff like no, that. No, you can't. Because if you... You could use Vasulo. Yeah, and that's come on. Yeah. He, he, yeah. No. What? I, I, I don't know how that's not called. It's definitely getting a little too physical for me, Mason. Yeah, no, I mean, I have no problem with being passionate about the game and your team, but to the point where you're standing on the sideline after the play is blown dead and you can just go and shove a guy into the face. That, no, I mean, nah. you can't. There's a reason why there's cards. In my yeah. opinion, that should it should have been used there. Yeah, but we're we're only commenting. So yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we're not we're not out there. But Brady Brady Birch, who we've seen all night, he's done an he's excellent job. Got a couple job. wingmen, Valderrama, he's racing down the sideline. Oh. And where's the call on that? No, no call and. We've got two players down on the field. Yeah. Valderrama on one side, and I think that, is that number eight? Yeah. Yeah, both. Yeah, that's so, Anthony so Zavala. Valderrama looks like he's on his feet, but. No, that's number two. That's my bad. Alexander Podroy, he seems to be in a decent amount of pain. Yep. I thought he was trying to sell something at first. We're, we're going we're gonna to take a break. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. So after that, we, we cut to the break, and uh, it looked like, uh, well, what happened was one of the uh, it was Julio, Julio Gillen, yeah. yeah. He got he got a yellow card and a red card, and he was he was sent off. So I'm I'm pretty sure. My, I don't know if we're entirely right here, but we think that that was the one who shoved Aiden Valderrama out of bounds or tripped him in the play right before we cut out. Yep. So um, the Tigers they'll be down a man due to that fact, and it will be hard, uh, really hard for them to come back, especially down one guy. So Yeah, I mean, not only are they down 4-1 to one right now, they are really shooting themselves in the foot with all of this physicality and the penalties that are being called on them. Yeah, they, they got one, one player injured and another player off because physicality. So Frontier trying to get on the attack again, and about 18 minutes left to go. Um, plus a little extra time. Um, Fernando with the pass over to Nico. Right over his head. And Yeah, see, I mean, at this point in the game, I don't have a problem with, like, a push like that. Yeah, you know, no, that's, that's like that, that's fine, you know. It, it was going to go out of bounds anyway. And see, look at that. They did a little high five. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, they, they know it's they – aren't, they aren't trying to start anything. It's just, you know, they're playing the game. And yeah. we, can, we can all appreciate that. Yep. And – It'll be a looks like it will be a goal or free kick for the Tigers and I, I think it's definitely going to be hard for him to oh yeah yeah the rest oh, oh yellow my card gosh. and see yeah. you know uh, by itself Tom I wouldn't have I don't think that that warrants a yellow card but the fact and. He's gotten a couple other penalties called on him previously. So this is like, uh, you know, he? it's it's built up to it, you know? Yeah. Yellow card, he's going to be off for a, a minute or two. He's probably yeah. going to come back on. But Yeah. So 16.45. I mean, this, this is kind of getting a little out of hand. I yeah, mean, it is. It really <laughs> is. I mean, the ref earlier, I mean, he didn't call really anything in the, the, the first half, but now he's, he's, he's calling call a lot. lot yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, fortunately for the Red Hawks, they haven't had, they haven't gotten a yellow card, so they have a clean sheet right now. Yeah, I mean, they've got a couple penalties caught on them, but you know, that's to be expected in a soccer game. Yeah. The one thing is, you know, there hasn't been any handballs, which is like, you know, you'd expect that to be kind of like the yeah. predominant. I, I think also, like, I mean, they, they, there's definitely one missed one that I saw, but <laughs> yeah, no, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, Nico. look at Nico Fasulo. <laughs> Excellent run by him and. Kicks it in. Oh, oh, just a missed kick. I can't tell who that. That was Brady Birch. Oh, yeah. Again, with another up. <laughs> that would have been a hat trick for him. Yeah. He's gotten two. Tron, he's gotten two. Yeah, and here's uh, 
That's Juan Solis who got oh, the yellow card called on him before, and he I just think, came back in. I think Brady Birch has one, and then because Del. I th wait, or I think yeah, it, it was uh, that. Oh no! no yeah, cause yeah, yeah. Because it was Devin Niles at the oh, no. corner. Oh no! Yeah, kick. Devin Niles. Yeah. No, it wouldn't have been a hat trick. That's my bad. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if Chani gets one, he gets. Chani gets trick. one. He gets the hat trick. <laughs> but it was it was Brady Birch that uh, initiated that penalty kick, you know, because uh, he was having that run. Yeah, yeah. So 15 minutes left to go. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it'll just be a little interesting because, you know, you're you're down a man and. See that um, gibberish is what I was saying. <laughs> Chon, he making a nice run. Got a defender to beat. He beats him. <laughs> Goes right in between two oh. defenders. And it'll go up in the air. They're going to let it go out. Yep, it'll go out of bounds. Frontier's ball. Fernando takes the throw in. Gets it into Chon Min. It's going to get sent. Jack Storm. <laughs> the wrong with he's going to end it almost straight back up. That's it again. <laughs> now Jack Storm with it. Gets it over to Chan He. Now Brady Birch through ball. Oh. That was, that was good defense right there. Yeah. Yep. No. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> Chan He. Again, here comes Johnny. E. He's got a defender to beat. He oh, almost a little miss pass. Goes straight to the goalie. Scooped right up by Mar uh, by William Martinez. Now, uh, Felipe oh, Olivier what a it. move by a Missy. A Missy. Now back to a Missy off of, off a nice pass. He's gonna kick it in and date. There's Daytar. Tatar with a run here. <laughs> <laughs> Love seeing that man right there. Oh, yeah. He, For a second, you know, he makes you think that he's going to take it all the way down the field the way he was going. Yeah, and he <laughs> uh, he definitely uh best Yankee Candle employee right there. <laughs> he had the, the lowest. He, he, he aimed to get 0% on the... Uh, phony email capture rate, but uh, we, I don't I care nothing less about that. <laughs> in the goalie box... Frontier with a big chance. Well, just some great defense right here by the Tigers. Defense is really stepping it up as the clock hits 13 in this game. Oh, no, here's here he is coming back in. Erickson Licardi. He's, no, he's not coming in. He's still, he's still waiting yep. on the sideline. And we've got another Frontier thrown. Fernando with it. Gets it to Brady Birch. Now Fernando's going to oh, kick that out of bounds. It will be. Oh, I'm not, I, didn't, oh, I, didn't, I didn't see what happened there. And again, it's getting uh, a little rough out there. I mean, yeah. And see, you know, you've got some players that are starting to form rivalries. And then you can look over here at Fernando <laughs> and Amissi, who are just having a nice oh. little chat. Yeah, and look at that. See, <laughs> yeah, see, that's Amici, what you want to see. Yeah, <laughs> see, Amissi, he's a great player, and he's he's being he's not trying to do anything intentional here. He's not in the wrong, and the refs, <laughs> the refs guy, doing the right yeah, thing, backing I, 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 him up. But you know, he's not trying to start anything. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, this is just up, oh, up, oh. and here's a timeout. I mean, you kind of almost need to call that. Yeah, I think that Coach Evan Horton for the Red Hawks called the timeout he wants to talk to his team yeah but I, I think they'll, they'll go over you know what kind of what they need to do to yeah it's like stop that come on guys we're up by three goals we don't need penalties to ruin us here don't try and get anything started the last thing we need right now is a fight out on the yeah. field like come so, on yep yeah. so they're, they're gonna take a quick break so you're watching frontier come max is television Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. And after that quick timeout, the Hawks was back on the field as well as the Tigers. We got about 11.45 left to go in this second half in this game. So with the Hawks up 4-1. to Sulu got himself in a corner. Oh, he gets oh, wow. out. Got through almost three defenders and then the Martinez collects... That was quite impressive. Nice little tightrope back there. 
I, that that's one thing I, I like to see too is the the knuckleball. You know, yeah. When when you and, and any sport, I, that's my favorite thing. I also if I don't have nails, I can throw a nasty knuckler. <laughs> <laughs> the baseball. Oh. Oh. Matt Seacard, he's been had a pretty good game out there defensively. You know, I know he's a senior for the Hawks. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Still feel bad. I accidentally called him Matt Styles like for half of the game Stiles. last time, and then like halfway through, I was like, "Seacard, what am I saying?" It, 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 Jeez, it will never be. Oh, here comes Brady Birch. Brady Birch with an opportunity, makes a move. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> ran out. He just ran out of room. Yep. So be a frontier corner kick. One thing I'll never let down is uh, Alec and Megan. They never uh, told me until like. Halfway through the second half of a game, I was calling the Orioles the Eagles, and because <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh my God! It it was it was because the the game before I uh, it was the Eagles, so uh, that makes head. sense. Yeah. Oh, here's a corner for Frontier. I think it's Fernando. He kicks it in. It's gonna go long of the box. Matt Seacard with the header. And oh, Matt Seacard with it! Oh shot. my goodness, <laughs> Matt Seacard! Oh. A defender is gonna get a goal. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it was kicked back to him, and he just <laughs> let it rip, and there you go. Five to one. The Hawks really taking advantage of this game. And oh, boy. This has been... A, this has been a decent amount of diversity in terms of the goal scoring for Frontier. Two by Chan He, one by Brady Birch, one by Devin Niles, yeah. and now one by the <laughs> defender Matt Seacard. Yeah, you you love seeing a, a defender getting one because it's, it's oh, very it's rare so to great. see. So, oh, here comes Chan He. Oh, Chan He. He's got two defenders to beat, or one defender to beat. Two on two. Pass it to Fasula. One on one. Nico. Oh, it's oh. another goal. Oh my goodness. Now and Nico I, with the goal. I think we can put this one in the books, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Six to one frontier. That's two goals within 30 seconds of each other. So Six to one, the Hawks. All they have to pretty much do now is just waste that clock. Um, I mean, they. Or did they not count it? Oh, they're still saying oh. five to one. Was he offside? He probably was offside. Oh, jeez. So I'll cross that one out. <laughs> that would have been. Uh, that's all right. Here comes Chani. Chani trying to get it to Nico. And I think Nico would have been off sides on that too. Yeah, that was. was He's just a little too fast, you know. Juan Solis, Ooh. who had a good clearance there. And here's a missy over to uh, Felipe Di Olivia. And here's now Kevin Human. Human. Trying to get through Frontier's midfielders, and he passes it alongside. Nice interception by Fasulo. Valderrama passes it up. Fasulo down the far side. Shot. Oh. Oh. oh, and it's just wide on an open goal. It goes just a couple feet to the left. Fasulo got it. Second shot there at getting his own goal. And it looks like on the sideline for Frontier, they've got some of their second string players warming up. Yeah. I mean, it's five to one with eight minutes left to go. I you mean, can, yeah, you, do, you don't, can't blame them. Yeah, and you, uh, you don't want your, your, uh, your, your starters to get injured for the next game. So Nice pass by Brady Birch. Fernan oh, Fernando. That one will go to bound, so 7.30 left to go. I think Max Regbala, Jesse Kirkalonis, and Kai Sakyath will come in for the Red Hawks. And there's the 21, Gabriel Alvarez. He's coming in Brady, uh, yep. for the Brady, Tigers. Brady Burtz is going to take a seat. David Gray and Aiden Valderrama, so... Resting their players for the next one. Oh yeah, and I think you said that they they'll be playing a in the next round 
They're playing uh, a Bassett Valley. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. The 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 tw a twentieth seed. Upset. Yeah, the twentieth seed. Because they they beat uh, a Bassett Valley is the twentieth seed, and they played against Rockland the other day, who's the fourth seed, and they beat Rockland four to two, which is quite impressive. Yep, and here come the Tigers. I mean, like for an example, you know, when it was the state. Um, State playoffs for softball this past summer. Um, Frontier, they were the 21st seed, and they they ended up going uh, to the semifinals and faced Greenfield, which uh, was the one seed, and uh, Greenfield ended up winning the whole uh, tournament. So, uh, But for Frontier to be a 21 seed and make it that far was pretty impressive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the goal. Oh, ooh. Good job. Nice stop by Owen Babb. Yeah, he came out, collected that one, and about six minutes left. I don't think there will be much extra time um, just because of the score of the game. I mean, Yeah, yeah. Unless there's some kind Jesse, of miracle that Je Jesse the Tigers pull Kirk off. with a nice pass. Kysak comes up, uh, grabs it, and Kysak, Kysak down to the box. Oh. oh. That was close. That was very close. And here's uh, Ben Cachuango coming in for Jack Storm. Yep, Jack Storm had played pretty excellent on defensively on defense for the Hawks. So. Poor Max Rajbali. Jack Storm left him hanging <laughs> and on the field. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if our camera caught that. No, nah, <laughs> hopefully not. You don't want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Shameful. Yep. Now it looks like uh, Max Millett for the Red Hawks will uh, be looking to come on. Yeah. With just five minutes left to go. As you need a, a, a goal. Oh, oh, John, he gets it. <laughs> yep. Wow. You need, for uh, for the Tigers to tie this one up, you need a goal a minute. And it looks like the clock stopped. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, th for the second half, they stop it at five minutes instead. Um. That's what they do. It. It's tough for us because like, I'm, <laughs> I'm announcing the game up here and it's like I look at the time and it's like five minutes and I look up like two minutes later. Oh, it still says five minutes. Oh, that, that, I didn't understand yeah. what was happening. It's like, yeah. So <laughs> that that I, I haven't. That must be a a state, uh, uh, whatever you know, rule. Yeah, since tournament. we're in the state tournament. Yeah. yeah. And Frontier, they're gonna have a free kick here from a good range. Fernando lets her lead. Oh, just over the crossbar, a couple inches. Yeah, the, the the keeper got a hand on that, and excellent job by Martinez, kind of blocking that one and tipped off the top of the crossbar. So Max Millet comes in for Nico Fasulo. Nico had an excellent game. I mean, he had that offside goal that just taken yeah, away from him. Yeah, yeah. So. And I think honestly, oh, here comes the Tigers, and. Uh, the, what I was trying to say is, having that man down really takes effect on the game. I mean, oh years, yeah, they, they, I think they scored two goals off of that. I mean, yeah, I mean, gee, that would have been incredible if Fasula's goal had counted. Two yeah. goals within a minute—that's <laughs> thirty seconds, even. It yeah, was, <laughs> that is highlight real stuff right there. Here's a Missy. Yeah, Missy trying to keep his team alive, and Fernando, he's gonna go up the sideline. He's Got Getting a, chased. Yeah, two players on him. Now, now third comes in and it'll, it'll be uh, Anthony Zavala taking the free kick for the Tigers. Matt Seacard, who had that defensive goal, you know, almost, you know, yeah, long ranger. Tigers really, they, they want to go out fighting. And here comes Chan He <laughs> He's got, oh. Yeah, there you go. Come on. There's, that's oh, the right call. Here comes Seacard upset Seacard with the Seacard is not happy they, about this, that. This is, this is not what you want to see. The oh, come on, guys. Yeah. Really. Yeah, just, I mean, I don't blame them too much. This is. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, and, and he gives it. Yellow card to one of the, uh, What are you doing? Uh, man? Come yeah, on. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all right. I mean, see, no, but look at this over here. I miss he's talking down C card. He's 
that is some real great sportsmanship here. Your team's down five to one. A fight's about to start, <laughs> yeah. and what you do is you pull away the other team's player and you calm uh, them down. Yeah, oh, I mean, oh, oh, uh, and he got red card and yeah. the yellow card. Well, well, I think that that was his second yellow card. So I, now it's nine on eleven with a couple minutes left to go. I mean, <laughs> come on, Matt's, yeah, Matt yeah. card's gonna take a seat. So that's a uh, Diego Frazier coming in, coming in, I believe. And, uh, yeah, there he goes again. It's the same. Uh, who was that? Alexander Pojoy, I believe. No, th why do I keep saying him? Uh. I've, I've said him twice now. That's Erickson Licardi. I think he's out for the game now. Yeah. He got a red card. So it's one, two, three. That yep. was nine, nine, like. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, what? No, well, no, no, no. So I was counting it wrong. Yeah, no. It's <laughs> frontier. They got, they got, or whatever. It, it's nine on eleven. It's yeah. nine on eleven. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And a free kick for Frontier, taken by Daytar. I mean, really at a disadvantage just for two players down. I mean, it's ten on eight, pretty much. And there we go. They, they call That's it. the game. So Frontier, they're gonna at home. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna end uh, Lynn Vokes uh, season and it's going to be a five to one win um, I mean kind of quickly run through the goals I mean the first goal was at the 3606 mark by Brady Birch and it was assisted by Aiden Valderrama um, I think the Second goal was still in the first half. Or well, no, that's when uh, um, a Missy was assisted yeah, they came straight back. after. Yeah, mm -hmm. a Missy, Missy straight after was assisted by Giovanni. Uh, then Frontier they scored the second goal, um, which was by Devin Isles' corner kick went off of uh, one of the the, the uh, Tigers that players. Was something else. That uh, was pretty spectacular. The <laughs> In the second half, I think it was it was Chani's penalty shot, which made it three to one. That was pretty cool. Chani then mm -hmm. scored a deep ranger at the 22-37 oh, yeah. mark. And the final goal at around 10 minutes was Matt Seacard, which made it five to one. So there you have it. I mean, Frontier they're yeah. going to move on. They're going to face uh, face the 20th seeded. Uh, a Bassett Valley, yeah, but pretty sure. I, yeah. Don't quote me on that, <laughs> folks. <laughs> All right. So we will see you guys next yeah. time. And then, uh, tomorrow night, actually, live stream. Or tomorrow. Have a good one. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Mason Smith. Uh, um, How are you guys feeling about the win? Very, the very good. Very good about the win. All right. And... Charlie, you got two goals in yeah. there. Yeah. Those were absolutely <laughs> spectacular. Man. I don't know what else to say. Thank you. Thank you. You had an incredible game today. How are you feeling about it? How I'm ecstatic, man. I'm, I'm so ecstatic. Like, uh, I, I did not expect it, that to go in, bro. Is this what uh, it is? Yeah. This is going on uh, YouTube. Oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're doing uh, yeah. this for uh, FCAT. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You guys can watch it later, probably. Yeah, I, mean, I was gonna watch yeah, it later. Put out my miss, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how do you feel about? Um, there was a lot of uh, physicality throughout the game. How did you feel about that with like you know the other team and you know what's your opinion on that? I think you just you just play your game. You know, you let the like our the refs and like our coaches handle that. So you just play your game and yeah. have fun. So yeah. and I definitely had fun today. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. Congrats on the win. All right, All right thank, thank you. you.